The United States, in some ways, it's technologically advanced. It, it is. I mean, look at nine of the 10 of the world's most valuable companies are located in the United States. I think 17 of the top 20, they're in the United States. Massive wealth is being created, artificial intelligence, software. I mean, amazing stuff is happening. But on the flip side, there's some really weird stuff going on. The EPA chief, uh, apparently chief saboteur, Lee Zeldin, has announced a plan to delete climate science. Apparently, Lee Zeldin will uh, delete the EPA's endangerment findings, uh, which is the EPA's official finding recognizing the scientific reality that climate change is harmful to human health. And he's doing this strangely to help the oil industry make more money. Not strange at all, really, when you think about it, follow the money, right? But here's the thing. This is actually going to hurt people, not necessarily um, in terms of pollution. Yes, that will be a factor, but also in costs. Now, a lot of people in the United States um, support Trump and they support um, their anti-EV. But here's the thing. The Environmental Protection Agency, basically on orders from the White House, announced plans to roll back the finding that climate change hurts humans. However, what this is going to do is actually massively increase the cost of gasoline. So they thought this would help them, but it's actually not going to do that at all. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. The US government's own data says is that the cost of gasoline will increase by 76 cents per gallon. That's a massive increase, right? As a result of their latest move. Apparently, Electric says the purpose behind this rollback in um, emissions standards which is proposed and not yet finalized, is so that they can justify rolling back Joe Biden's money-saving emissions rules that stand to save over a trillion dollars in fuel and health costs. Apparently, this move will make cars less efficient and increase the cost to actually fuel them. So the Energy Department has revealed their own numbers, and those numbers from the Energy Department actually say the cost of gasoline will increase by 76 cents per gallon, which is pretty wild because you know, you'd think that that'd be well, aiming to reduce costs for Americans, but in fact, they're actually going to make it even worse. In the 2025 annual energy outlook, which was released in April, um, basically that outlook shows a repeal of EPA standards sought by um, the government would increase gasoline prices by 76 cents a gallon in the long term. So the difference is shown in a graph on the Energy Information Administration's website. This is straight from the government. So the EIA is part of the Department of Energy, and they're predicting that as a result of changing, making these changes to emission standards, the cost of gasoline will rise significantly. In the graph, you can see reference case refers to the case where laws and regulations act in December 2024, meaning Biden's emissions and fuel economy rules and California's similar emissions rules will be implemented in the future. And you can see here that the cost of transportation will go down significantly. So in other words, the government appears to be... Um, basically putting Americans in a position where most of them will be, be, be paying more for transport, being pay, be paying more for gasoline, uh, be continuing to pollute their cities pretty, pretty significantly. And at the same time, they're really just helping fossil fuel companies. It's not helping anyone other than them, really. Now, bizarrely, Sean Duffy, who was a reality TV contestant and who is now the Department of Transportation head, um, bizarre, uh, he announced the, his intent to raise fuel costs by $23 billion by rolling back efficiency rules. And also Republicans in Congress are doing their best to raise costs. They passed the bill that, among other things, will make CAFE or CAFE rules unenforceable, thus allowing automakers to offer less efficient vehicles that are going to be more costly to fuel. Most customers won't even know this is happening to them. So what do you guys think about this? I think um, this is... Um, sad to see it feels like um kind of feels like a third world government doing making this decision it doesn't make sense it's um very backwards and honestly economically stupid which is bizarre i mean the whole republicans are trying to say they're trying to help the economy but they're but in this situation in this instance they're doing the exact opposite let me know what your thoughts are and thanks for watching Instead of borrowing $65 billion from banks to invest in EV development, Volkswagen are borrowing this money to invest 
on internal combustion. Volkswagen have just announced they're going to spend billions, and I mean literally billions of dollars, on new internal combustion engines because, well, because apparently that's a smart thing to do. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching the Electric Viking, as you can tell by the name of the channel. EVs, that's what the future is. That was the whole purpose of me starting this YouTube channel, to basically say, you know what, um, the entire automotive industry is in disruption. Yeah, it's trying to confuse customers by lying to them, trying to say EV demand isn't there. It's going to take General Motors CEO Mary Barris said it's going to take decades for this transformation, this disruption to happen. Now, of course, legacy automakers want you to believe that because that's what they want to happen. They don't want to lose their businesses. However, the reality is that's not going to happen. Regardless of what Volkswagen does, regardless of Volkswagen's uh, hopes to slow the transition down. Now, Volkswagen have just announced within the last few days that they will spend billions of dollars on gas engines. And that the irony here is they're saying they're taking away billions of dollars from their EV development budget and putting it into the development of internal combustion engines. Honestly, I think this is absolutely insane. I mean, when have we ever seen anything amazing come out of this? Now, Volkswagen's last development where they announced, I think it was $7 billion they're going to spend. This is about five or six years ago on internal combustion. How much different is a Volkswagen internal combustion engine now versus five years ago? If you can legitimately tell the difference between a, a five-year-old internal combustion Volkswagen engine versus one made today, honestly, I'd be willing to pay you $1,000 on the spot because you'd have to be an at an utter genius. The efficiency. I mean, how can you tell the difference? It's almost impossible. Now, my, my parents have a couple of Volkswagen cars. And well, one's newer than the other. Um, both of them have diesel engines. They're both... Yeah, I mean, they're different, coming from different years, coming from different iterations. I can't tell the damn difference between the two of them. Anyhow, it's fair to say the transition to EVs isn't going as some automakers planned because, well, they can't make a profit selling EVs. That's the key reason why for them, they're trying to slow this down. Volkswagen estimated that EVs would account for as much as 80% of its sales in Europe by 2030. That would make sense, especially considering we know the cost declines of batteries. We know that within the next 12 months, it's going to be cheaper for many car companies, even including BYD, to make an EV than an internal combustion engine. Anyhow, of the $196 billion set aside in 2023 for its next generation EVs, Volkswagen will now use one third of that to develop internal combustion engines. Now, one third of that would suggest the company will invest $65 billion on internal combustion. Hit this is a direct quote, guys, from Motor One. The company, the chief financial officer, Arno Antilitz, and the chief operating officer said, the company intends to spend roughly $60 billion to keep our combustion cars competitive. That's 60 billion euros. 